Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Sylvia and I make videos on planning with the occasional review. Today's video is going to be a video about shopping my shelf. Okay, shopping my shelf. Why? Uh, am I on a no spend? <laughs> yeah, right. That's pretty funny. I would never be as bold to ever attempt a no spend because I know who I am as a person. Okay, and... Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. So here's the thing. Let me start with <laughs> the note I ended up getting from Amazon. So I'm going to read this to you in case the white balance is out of control and you can't see it. So it says undeliverable. Yes, it does. <laughs> Unfortunately, a problem occurred during shipping and we had to cancel your delivery. The package is being returned. And we will issue a full refund three to five business days after the return is processed. We're very sorry for the inconvenience. So what I ended up buying was this Nolte 2281. And I believe the first numbers are the color and the 81 is like the style. It's a weekly planner. It also has a monthly that looks like this. And then it also has the weekly. Now this is the weekly I've been trying out in, sorry if you can't see it, maybe I'll put a picture up because this is not the brightest idea I've ever had, <laughs> for sure. But it's the weekly I've been trying out in my bullet journal that looks like this. And I've been enjoying this. I thought I want to give this a go. I want to see if I like it. And I really did. And I was super excited. Okay. I got all of the dopamine fills that you get when you order something and you're very excited and you're very pleased with yourself. And I was waiting for that second hit of dopamine when I got my planner and of course my white friction biz number two in the mail. And it didn't come. And so I didn't get that second hit. And now I just got let down. And I was just like, Oh, feeling weighed down in an emotional wreck and it's just a planner and I'm sure it's other things but I was just focusing on the planner. So I went and I shopped on my shelf and I said okay Sylvia if I decide not to buy anything that's dated or you know any kind of planner at all for 2023 what would I do? And I thought well I'd go back to a bullet journal because it's so awesome to have it in a traveler's notebook <laughs> and it's been a while since I've been in a traveler's notebook. So it's between a standard size in a passport size. Now there's something about passport size that just seems too small sometimes for certain little things, but I do love to carry it. But I am going into those months where I have talked about being a person that plans by the actual season, a seasonal planner. Meaning that in the colder months, I don't mind carrying a bigger planner because I always have a purse and I'm always in a car. Whereas in the summertime, you know, you want to be outside in the park, you want to be able to walk and move around and just carry kind of like a a smaller bag and so therefore you kind of size down. So I think I'm okay with a standard size. I don't know why the A6 is just like this perfect little size and there's not that much of a difference. The width is about the same. The height is a little bit different than the passport but that little bit gets me every time. I'm not quite ready to move into my A6 because I am enjoying this bullet journal, but I was thinking maybe I would go to a standard size. So here's what I found on my shelf that I thought would help me kind of migrate into this planner a little bit easier. <laughs> so I ended up finding, let me move this, these two inserts by Traveler's Company. So this one is the monthly and it's just a free calendar. That's what they call it. And I remember when I first saw it, I was like, what does that even mean that it's a free calendar? It just means it's not dated. And of course, Hobonichi has since come out what they consider a free calendar, which is different. I know, I know. Why can't we just be the same across the board? Who knows? But I don't particularly care for the dated versions of these because they come, well, the monthly comes in this really gross red orange that just, you know, and I'm sure that you also, right? So I like the cream color better. <laughs> it's easier on my eyes. And I thought I could just use a stencil because I'm already doing that in my bullet journal, right? So I think it's fairly easy to do it in here. And I like how uniform it looks when you use a stencil. 
And so this is my monthly calendar and these stencils are the stencil rather that I use is from the Hobonichi Weeks and that's the smallest one I've been able to find. I also like that there's not a bunch of months over here on the side. They do that in the dated version so I can use a space or utilize it for something else, even washi tape. You can certainly do that in the dated version but I just like how clean this one looks in comparison. The other great reason to use this insert is if I decide to go into something else for a couple of months, then I won't have wasted any of these pages. I can just come back and fill out the month when I restart this insert again. Same thing goes for this one. This is the weekly. So this has a green cover, but actually this is kind of nice. It doesn't always look like it matches well, but I feel like even if I wanted to put one picture or collage it, it still looks nicer than that crazy orange, which by the way, probably would match okay with this actual cover, which is kind of funny because normally, whatever. So this one is also a free calendar, meaning that it's not dated, and it has that Hobonichi style of layout that I really love without that annoying Tomoe River paper that smears all kinds of crazy. Also, again, I would have to go ahead and fill this out with my stencil, which I don't mind doing. I like that it has grit on this side, and I also love, love, love that this is five millimeters as opposed to the, what is it, like 0.37 millimeters that the Hobonichi has, or 0.35, I don't know. It's tiny, even tinier than four millimeters, and that's out of control. So this is really nice. Also, I can use my gel pens in here, y'all. I love that, um, I miss them so much and I was able with my moleskin that had the same layout to uh, use my what are they called my Sarasa vintage set I have two of them they're such beautiful muted colors and I just I really would love to use them in here I know that they're not going to smear as badly as they would if I tried to use them in my Hobonichi weeks because I just don't have the patience for that at all then of course you can always add another insert or two. This one fits four nicely in it because it is a little bit of a larger cover. If I only wanted to keep planning stuff, I could certainly size down to a traveler's company uh, cover, but I thought I would go ahead and maybe use a square grid in here for collections. Um, that kind of insert would work great. But the best thing about it is if you get bored with square grid, you can switch to dot grid or lines or even blank or something like a craft color, cream colored, <laughs> we have all different kinds of styles anymore. So this is a really great option for me. Um, it has the structure so I don't have to draw this out, but it also allows me to leave and come back whenever I want to. So I'm really liking that. And I'm imagining using this alongside of an A6 for dailies. So this would be my everyday carry. And if I didn't want to carry this, this could be just my major planning for projects and everything else that I kept at home. And hopefully I will open it because that's the only struggle I ever have is, yeah, I can set up a planner, but am I ever going to actually open it? That is the question. So I think that that is everything. This is me trying to stay calm and steady. Oh, the last thing I want to say is I shot my shelf again because I did order a Friction uh, Biz 2, which holds the 0.38, which I love because it's a nice uh, fine tipped pen. And I found this Friction Ball 4 color, so it's a multi-barrel pen. And I took them all out and I put in 0.38s, because that's my favorite, all of them in black. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, doesn't that defeat the purpose of a multi-barrel pen so that you can use different colors? I don't use different colors, you guys. I only use black. So basically, I just, I put all of the black in here because... Friction refuses to make a 0.38 in the larger cartridges, so I only carry one, right? So now if I run out at any given time, I have another black one in here to use. And that is the beeping. I am making soup for my sister, so I have to go. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I also like this as opposed to these very uh, slim frictions that you can also get in a 0.38, even with a grip on them. They seem to be a little bit too, I don't know, I just can't grip them well enough. They're too skinny. So I liked a bigger barrel pen and I think this might work out. So we'll see. I might get away with not buying anything at all for 2023.
Yeah, right. But I am trying, you guys. I am trying. How is it going for you? Um, I have stayed off the Hobonichi website. I did go to Jet Pens and look to see if they had any Hobonichi wigs there, and they did. But luckily, it was none of the ones I wanted, and the majority of them had already been sold out and had the little green um, button that said uh, restock. <laughs> I did go on to uh, Amazon US, and they did have some Hobonichis 2023, in case you're watching this in the future, but they weren't the ones I wanted either. So, so far, I've gotten away from buying a Hobonichi thus far. We'll see how it goes. There's just so many days between now and then. And even then, you could still buy one even if you're three months into the year. Who knows? All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.